There's a lot of things that people do for money. Some of them aren't really dignifying. For example, cleaning the sewers or showing cleavage to horny gamers on Twitch. And I find absolutely nothing wrong with that. Everyone has their abilities and everyone can contribute to society in their own different ways and pay taxes to Uncle Sam. However, there is a new thing that I really cannot grasp my mind around. I really do not understand why anyone would do something like this. And this is called real life streaming. Now, instead of streaming from the comfort of your own home and getting around 30 bucks a day, some people decide to go out in order to get 50 bucks a day by having super chats played out on loudspeakers, which can sometimes entice angry gentlemen from the crowd and get the streamer into interesting predicaments. We will defend ourselves! You go to fucking jail! You will defend ourselves! You're on camera! You're on camera! Stay back! Stay back! Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out! Stay the fuck back! You want your shot? Stay back! Fucking piece of shit! Fucking knock you out, bro! You get shot! You get shot! You get shot! Stand the fuck back! A few moments later. You understand our side of it? I understand your side of it, and I understand you should have called the police. But because you guys didn't want to call the police, and these guys want to start fighting you again, you pulled a gun on I got him on video right here. He pointed a gun at three dudes in the middle of the street, 100 feet away, because he was afraid he was going to get his butt kicked. You should have called the cops 15, 20 minutes ago, and you didn't. Whatever. I'm glad you're recording it. That's all I have now don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure it's very entertaining watching this from afar to see a guy talking with the cops while someone donates a $5 super chat saying kill all cops and that gets played on the loudspeaker next to the angry policeman. It, it might get a worthy of a chuckle, however, I don't understand why anyone wants to subject themselves to this. I mean, if you look at other live streamers, you will notice that a significant number of them, especially the high profile ones, brush off against the authorities on more than one occasion. Or, if they manage not to do that, they will brush off against the criminal elements of the underworld, such as this lady right here. What's all that noise in the background? Wait, are those gunshots or are those fireworks? Are those gunshots or fireworks? Now that lady wanted to stream in Compton, uh, a place where during the night you can hear noises that are hard to differentiate between gunshots and fireworks, and she ended up having her jacket stolen. Uh, but, you know, again, like, I, I don't understand why people like to put themselves into these types of positions. So this is what real life streaming is all about. Now the reason I made this intro is because we're going to talk about a man by the name of Dr. Disrespect. Now, if you don't know who the gentleman Dr. Disrespect is, then I will tell you. He is one of the few men that can actually make a living on Twitch. You see, on Twitch, you're either a buxom lady that likes to do Dance Dance Revolution, and that's how you make a living, or you are Ninja, Dr. Disrespect, or Dark Side Phil. Now, the reason I assume this is, is that most normal people, the average Joes, they, they get banned from Twitch before they can make an audience. Like their TOS are such draconic that you can get banned for things you do off the platform. Like take quartering, for example. He started making a video on YouTube explaining how some of the ladies on Twitch might be in violation of the TOS. Because you see, they decided to paint their boobies for everyone to see. And he read the TOS showing how that's not allowed because he read the TOS and got banned from Twitch, even though he did that on YouTube. So. As you can see, most people, they get banned from Twitch. Now, why don't ladies get banned from Twitch? Well, look at the, the number of super chats they're getting, and maybe you can figure out the economic answer yourself. I guess I want to do that low-key stream. It was really cool. Like, I was really happy to. It's Friday today! It's a Friday! Now I'm like, shit. Okay, since it's Friday today. No, okay, so tomorrow I'll do it American Fridays. <gasps> Happy early birthday, You're an amazing streamer, amazing singer, and an amazing person. Oh my god! It's nice to see someone passionate about what they do. We all appreciate you. 
We will always be here to support you and you deserve every success in life. Oh, oh my god, this thing. I'm sorry if I don't hit <laughs> anything anymore. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> but I will try my best still. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, thank you. I don't know how to thank you, like... If I could see you, I would like hug you so bad, you would like not be able to move. So basically the rule on Twitch is if you're a lady that is producing and you get banned, uh, your account is going to be reinstated soon. Uh, if you're anything else, well, tough luck, so long, adios. I mean, look at this guy's beard. Do, do you think his beard is going to be able to produce as much as this lady managed to get in one super chat? Of course not. And you would say, oh V, well, it's not that much that they're getting. No, like, trust me, I didn't show you the worst. Like, there are super chats of $100,000. Do you understand this? Like, I have never made this amount of money ever in my life. No, no, no. Like, my entire family, my, my relatives, going all the way back to the prehistoric age, have not made this amount of cash. Like, it's just insane. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's a very lucrative business uh, if you look at it, especially when you consider that you can pay these ladies in bits and sometimes uh, a kid, you know, a teenager might also go to his mommy's credit card and buy some bits and then use the bits. But that, that, that's that's a different conversation, right? We're going back to that of disrespect, right? Now, that of disrespect, it, he is like uh, one, one of the most proeminent male streamers, right? And in his infinite wisdom, he decided to... Um, stream at the E3 convention. And at the E3 convention, again, in his infinite wisdom, he decided to go into the bathroom. Now, as he walks into the bathroom, um, he manages to catch something that he didn't want to catch. You know, it's like one of those Pokemons where you go play Pokemon Go and you manage to find something that you don't want. Well, in this case, he found a little kid. And I like a little kid, definitely underage by the looks of it, uh, wearing a Mario hat and taking a tinkle. And I guess over 10,000 people that were watching the stream uh, managed to also catch a glimpse of the tinkler. Now, I'm not going to show you the tinkler on YouTube because of obvious reasons, all right? Like, I, I don't want to get my channel shut down and the FBI come to my house even though I'm in Romania. But you, you kind of can close your eyes and, and you can picture what, what just happened, all right? Guys walk into a bathroom, uh, and as, as he turns the camera, as he pans the camera, the Tinkler is there. And this is why his account got suspended by Twitch. Now, there have been different reactions to this, uh, and I want to play some of the ones that I found more interesting. I mean, very, very frankly, they're lucky someone didn't turn around and beat the shit out of all of them. Beat the shit out of the cameraman, beat the shit out of Dr. Disrespect for doing it. Because you fucking try to film me pissing, you're going to have a lot of trouble. <laughs> Let me say that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Dr. Disrespect is now sighing in relief. Even though he got his channel banned, even though his lively income is at stake here, and his reputation is tarnished forever, he can consider himself lucky that he ran into the Tickler and not into Darkseid Phil at that bathroom. I mean, are we in an alternative reality where Darkseid Phil actually looks intimidating? Like, this guy is the most lazy person that the internet has ever produced. It just... If you watch his channel, you would know that when his girlfriend was sick, uh, she was sick in bed, and he was playing video games, he was angry that she wasn't cooking him food. 
he, he actually, and, and by the way, I kind of understand why that is, because he actually tried to start the series, like the, the Chef Ramsay Extravaganza, DSP tr uh, tries it, and in this case he tried cooking food. His signature dish was bacon and eggs uh, sandwich, and it was a surprise that he didn't burn down his house, but one thing is for sure, like, he definitely clogged his toilet, because he threw all the grease from that into the toilet, and there was a lot of grease. And, and this is after he actually dropped some of the ham on the floor, when he walked barefoot previously from the bathroom into the kitchen and then put the ham onto the toast. Like, that, all right, th this is the guy we're talking about. And, and this is the guy that wanted to kick the ass of Dr. Disrespect had Dr. Disrespect had the unfortune of filming him while tinkling. Now, a lot of people want Dr. Disrespect to go to prison for what he committed. And don't get me wrong, I understand it is a crime but in this case, I think a fine is reasonable. Like, it, it doesn't seem to me like he went with the intent to catch people tinkling. And he wasn't even the one holding the camera. So if a crime is committed, it's actually the person recording, which was the one holding the camera. So, you know, that's the one that's going to get in trouble with the authorities. And I, I guess Dr. Disrespect can go uh, for instigating. But... You might say, well, V, hold on. Like, obviously, if you go in a bathroom to film stuff, you are going to catch people tinkling. Like, it's obvious. Duh. You, you don't understand, all right? We're not talking about people with high IQ here. We're, we're not talking about Einsteins. We're, we're not trying to send rockets to the moon. Like, this is the IQ level of Twitch streamers. Oh, fuck you, fake. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? <laughs> How are you? How are you not in fucking school? You kiss your mother with that yeah, mouth? It's, it's called you. Ki it's called you kiss your mother with that fucking mouth? Huh? Oh my huh? God! Why are you so angry? <laughs> because the fucking youth of society. <laughs> you shut up when I'm talking to you. You shut your mouth. That's Ninja. That's that's the top Twitch streamer. Uh, I I I just can't. I can't anymore. Yeah. So given uh the intellect of these type of people I, I genuinely think that dr disrespect made an error in judgment he he earned and as such i'm going to take the uncontroversial opinion and think that you know he already had his child suspended he already took a ban and i think he learned this lesson you know that, that now if the tinkler wants to sue and wants to go for a civil lawsuit that that is something else entirely but what I'm saying is that I'm not the type of person that want to see Mr. Disrespect in the Slammer since clearly he did not go into the bathroom in order to break into the stalls of people. It's just like, I, I genuinely think, I genuinely think he was that dumb. I legitimately think he was that stupid. But anyway, let me know what you think. You know, this this is just my, my, my controversial opinion. Uh, I, I think like having his channel suspended was enough. A lot of people uh, ask him for... Uh, his complete removal, and you wonder why, because apparently, as he is unable to stream anymore, uh, other streamers are getting a boost in numbers, so it's a very competitive environment on Twitch, you understand, so it's all about the money, the money is now going somewhere else, uh, and apparently, Dr. Disrespect already has a uh, contract with Twitch, so depending on what's in that contract, he might not be allowed to stream on other platforms, right. So that's that's what happened. That's the story. Go away now. I'm going to pull the curtains and cry that I was born a fat Romanian rather than a buxom looking lady so I can get $100,000 donations by being on Twitch.